Hi everybody. I am um, making a video letting y'all know what's going on. I didn't make one yesterday so I apologize. I was late coming home and I don't mind making a video late but I was just tired. And I didn't forget. I was just tired so um, I figured I'd make one this morning. I did a 6.45 run. I did my four miles. I didn't run the whole way. Um, but I ran most of the way and I just, instead of doing, start, you know, starting where my usual three miles begins in my four mile run, I just kind of did intervals, but not just kind of sporadic intervals, not really three minute run, one minute rest or anything like that. It was just running until I got tired, stop, catch my breath, and try to run in the next running interval longer than I ran in the last. So my time, at least for the four miles, was about 49 minutes, which is okay. That's not too, too bad. Because um, four miles, I don't know what my three-mile time would have been. I'm assuming maybe like still 38, 39 minutes. But... Um, I didn't do a three mile chunk like I said but I was thinking about that and I'm actually happy with the 49 50 minutes of the four miles when I first started losing weight I would do the same thing run and walk the two miles but really trying to do my best time and I would do two miles and 45 or so minutes and I pretty much even though I'm significantly lighter, I've doubled the amount that I can do in about the same amount of time, 49 minutes. And even though I'm significantly lighter, I'm really impressed with that because um, I guess I never would have, I never really saw myself I won't say I never saw myself exercising regularly because I've, I've kind of always sort of done that, even as a bigger person, not as regularly as I do now. But I never really saw myself striving to, um, at least from a, especially cardio standpoint, because I've always hated it, striving to improve and be better and be better and be better and um, faster and stronger and whatever else you want to throw in there. But, um, it's really important to me now and I'm proud of that more than anything I think it's just a mindset that has shifted which is why I, I can say I've succeeded that's what I attribute my success so far to is just changing my mindset and changing the way I look at things like exercising as opposed to it being a chore it's more like a, you know a reward it's not it's something that I can you know use to um, in a funny way just kind of thank my body for you know holding me up and carrying me through and you know not to try to get too deep or melodramatic about it or but still I mean you really think about it especially coming from being overweight to being um, a lot less overweight and still trying to lose weight to get healthy um, you really think about your body just your body itself I put my body through a lot. <laughs> I mean, at 280 pounds at my heaviest for a long time, that's a lot to put your body through. But to, it's just so resilient, you know, your body is. And um, if you treat it right, it's going to work for you. It's really, really, really going to work for you. And so my thing is now that I just want to see how far I can push my body without, um, without, doing damage to it. I want to push it in a good way. Um, because, you know, my body's been pretty good to me, so. Um, and I just want to be good to it. So, um, I think that starts with nutrition. So, on to my whole raw thing. I'm in um, the last 10 days of my 30-day challenge. I don't know what kind of challenge this has been. I said I wanted to transition to raw and that's what I am going to make myself do in the last 10 days. I have been doing my plant-based nutrition. I've been eating fruits and vegetables every single day. 
Um, but there were times when I slipped up and I might have thrown in, you know, things with added sugar or might have had like bread or something. Not in large quantities, but just when I said that I wouldn't. wouldn't. So um, what I'm committing myself to doing in the last 10 days, especially since I know that I'm going to weigh myself at the end, and I know it's not all about weight loss, it's about health, but it was to kickstart my weight loss. What I'm going to do is I'm going to eat only fruits and vegetables, and I'll get my protein from whey shakes, and um, and I guess greens have some protein in them, but um, and also walnuts. So I'm not eating peanuts. I haven't eaten peanuts in a while. I'm not eating peanut butter. I'm not eating hummus. I'm just eating nature's own fruits and vegetables. And, um, and walnuts, you know, they're natural, they're raw. And, uh, I am going to continue to do the whey protein. So, um, and I want to see how my body is going to feel as a result. Hopefully I won't get tired again, um, like I was in the beginning. But I really want to get that motivation that I had in the beginning, um, to end with, to push through with. I'm going to order my scale off of Amazon as soon as I finish making this video, as soon as I finish uploading it. I'll put a link to it if anybody's interested in the kind of scale that I, I want to get. Um, it's a good looking scale, but it does a lot of things too, and the reviews are good. I make sure I read the reviews. Um, and I want to be able to get on it and see at least in numbers, you know, from an objective standpoint, and I know the number is not important, but see a difference in what I did. That's going to be sort of the reward. I can't really see it, and I can't even really feel it too much in my clothes. I can't really see it when I look in the mirror. You know, I, we kind of talked about this a little bit. Other people can. Um, they really can, I, because they tell me. <laughs> But I don't. Even just since starting this, people have told me you, you're losing a lot more weight or whatever. Um, but I want to be able to see it. You know, it's nothing like proving it to yourself. So um, that will be October 5th. So I want to make sure I make a video every day up until then. And this is uh, 10 days uh, to go. So thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for your your kindness and your tips and your encouragement and just know that it's it's really it always and I say this all the time but I really mean it it really does help and it really does motivate me not just to keep going but just to um, keep sharing my experience because you never know who is benefiting from what you're putting out there who can take something you say and use it in a way that you never thought possible or, in, or imaginable so uh, thanks for watching and I will upload a video tomorrow, any new developments, I'll be sure to let you guys know about. Bye.